<laughs> okay, best horror comic um, went to Hellboy. Mike Mignola, who actually sent me an email. Love that. And it was short and sweet, but it was heartfelt and very much appreciated. David and all Rondo voters, I was thrilled and surprised when I heard I had won a Rondo award. It's truly a thing of beauty. Mike Mignola. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Obviously, he's an artist. And... <laughs> the writer of the year. Um, the winner this year, spinning into view again, is Tim Lucas. And this is Tim's 11th Rondo Award. There are so many wonderful writers working at this kind of writing, and there are so many different varieties of them that I'm bound to overlook some of the best. But I'm no Tom Weaver, who is such a terrific interviewer and diligent researcher. I'm no Kim Newman, whose volcanic productivity qualifies as a genuine phenomenon. I'm no Greg Mank, who can write so colorfully about black and white movies. And I don't really have the erudition of Christopher Frayling or the ability to write with the spare, elegant clarity of a Jonathan Rigby. But I do love my work, and perhaps that's what comes through. Perhaps my favorite piece of film journalism that I wrote this past year was an essay on the obscure Mondo movie Sweden, Heaven, and Hell. Not exactly classic horror, but the way I see it, this is for that. When it appeared on my blog and later in revised form in Video Watchdog, even the Swedish distributor of the DVD declared that I had devoted, quote, an insane amount of space, <laughs> end quote, to the picture. But it captured my imagination and I ran with it. That's how Video Watchdog began 20 years ago with my three-part article on Track of the Vampire and how it continued with another three-parter 10 years later exploring the cinematic wastelands of Andy Milligan. I just didn't research those films, I fell in love with them and wrote as much about my love as I did about the films themselves. This is what I think I'm best at as a writer, capturing the madness that occurs when we fall in love with a new movie. My Sweden Heaven and Hell essay was part criticism, part fiction, and just as the film told lies about Sweden, I used it to tell lies about myself. But my favorite definition of fiction has always been an elaborate lie that tells the truth. Like the film it addressed, my essay lied to truthful ends, and I hope in the process helped point the way to a new way of writing about movies. The way we write about movies must change if magazines are going to survive in this day and age. The next year of my magazine video watchdog is going to be specifically dedicated to pushing that envelope and I want to thank David Colton and everyone who voted in this category for encouraging me to go crazier and crazier, deeper and deeper into the movies that are my mad love. Thank you. <laughs> 